And we're back. We, uh, we're going to start off with a Facebook message that we had come in from Brian in J-Town. J-Town Brian. He wants to know... What do you want to talk about? Will Alex Smith throw for 300 yards at Minnesota? No. How about that? You have Minnesota winning. No, that's why I said it. I, I think Alex Smith's going to throw a pick or two today, and I think it's going to be a tough game. Look at that. What are, don't, even, don't even look in here like that. Jeez, <laughs> Louise. It's not even fair. <laughs> anyway, okay. what were we talking well, about? What uh, were we talking about just now? We were just talking about Alex Smith. But I, it's like the, it was like the catwalk over I there. know. It was yeah. like, you're like a candy cane. You're sexy, then you know it. <laughs> wow. Jeez, Louise, Hollywood, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> Hollywood, hey, Hollywood, can, can, I get a bit, can I get a wager in on that, please? Yeah, can we get a wager on that? Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought he knew. <laughs> oh, my God. What are we talking yes. about? Oh, yes. Uh, Newsflash from John Witten. Uh, the, t- t- the Tony Romo experience has just been cited. Yes, the Cowboys. Oh, Romo Cowboy, just got picked. <laughs> Cowboys fans are already throwing stuff on. New team. Orleans is on the board. Jay Cutler's trying to score. But oh, New Orleans is winning. Huh? Jay Cutler. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Timeout. Must have trouble with his line again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. He's, look at him. He's already looking back at him. Uh-oh. All right, let's go on to the 4 o'clock game, Atlanta at San Diego. San Diego Chargers the John fans game of the week. That's right. So uh, this is going to be an interesting game. This is going to be a really interesting game. Most people will pick Atlanta, but they're on a short week. I'm picking San Diego. So am I. Short and, week, travel cross country. And can I give you two more factors in that equation? Yes. And Antonio Gates is back, and so is Ryan Matthews. Ryan Matthews. Does Ryan Matthews get hurt? I say he gets 75 yards and, and has a high ankle sprain. <laughs> Does he score a touchdown? A high ankle sprain for, this. for those fancy people. Yeah, he'll he score a touchdown. touchdown? Today, yeah, I think okay. Ryan Matthews will have uh, 50 or 60 to 50 to 75 yards and he'll score a touchdown. All right. What and do you think the final is going to be? He probably won't get a lot of playing time because they want to bring him back easy. He'll probably be limited. He'll probably get 15 final touches. Score? 15 tw- touch- 20 touches. 24 17 San Diego. Wow. 24 17. Julio Jones gets a touchdown and so does Tony Gonzalez. 24 21. Oh, wow. Late field goal by San Diego. Interesting. Yes. So, and that's at Qualcomm. That's at Qualcomm. Qualcomm, Qualcomm Stadium. That's they a use cell phone, it. isn't it? That's, yeah, it's a, it's a cell phone company. Yes. So, um, I actually have a uh, question coming in. Let's see here. What do we got? We have, uh, let's see. What do we have here now? Jeez Louise, I don't even know where my notes are at. <laughs> I think Nate drank last night. I t- definitely drank last night. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting one. Uh, this is a tweet from Gerald. He says, he asks, from Crescent Hill, he says, who's going to be the highest scoring quarterback in week three? The highest scoring take a look fantasy at take a look quarterback at in week three? Right. The highest scoring fantasy quarterback in week three. Somebody uh-huh. who's going to be behind. I'm going to say Christian Ponder to Vincente Shanko for a Minnesota Vikings touchdown live as we speak. Is that Ponder? Well, you, you picked that, too. I did pick that, did funny I not? How that works. It's funny how that works. Minnesota. Yeah. Go Minnesota. You heard it here first. Aaron Rodgers is going to score the most points in fantasy this week. Okay, that's, that's what you think. That's tomorrow. Um, actually, you know, who's gonna, you know who I predict? Who? Who's going to score the most? Christian Ponder. Christian <laughs> Ponder. Because he just scored one, so. Inquiring minds are pondering right so, now. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the Christian Ponder. So. Yeah, the pick of Nate. What was that? San Diego? Let's do the Philadelphia-Arizona game, and then we'll take another little quick breather. Yeah, Philadelphia and Arizona. We're starting to fill in out here at BBC St. Matthews. Yes. They want some of that beer that just went for sale. You, coming across the parking lot. You, look it. Come on. Get bourbon, in here. Bourbon Barrel Stout. BBC, 350. What? Bourbon Barrel Stout still on? Revis. Darrell Revis. Yeah. Come on in. Bourbon Barrel Stout still on. Yeah. All right. BBC Stout. They yeah. said the cast fest. They just had a cast Friday, Friday night. night. Actually, I heard that all the St. Matthews was rocking this weekend. I well, they were rocking because the Cardinals squeaked one out yesterday as well. They were rocking. I was climbing La La Land, so yeah. I don't know where it was on there. So were most U of L fans so. until the end of that game. Yeah. There's no uh, we got Philly fans, at so. Arizona. This is an interesting game here as well. Philly yes. Philadelphia just doesn't seem to want to put it all together right now. Well, Michael Vick had to stop throwing interceptions. Uh, uh, Arizona is undefeated. <laughs> Arizona is undefeated, and it doesn't seem like they won either game. It's and Larry really Fitzgerald's got 65 yards receiving. There's Jeff Fisher, the $7 million. $7 million dollar man, it's Jeff Fisher. But he does have St. Louis playing better than what people, most people thought, though. So, He's anyway, a good coach. A little sidebar there. He is a good coach. So who do you got, Philadelphia or Arizona? I'm going to take Arizona. 
<laughs> Nobody knows who's playing for them. I got, I got Arizona, They too. don't even know who their quarterback's going to be from week to week, but they're 2 It's called. It's called this week. They went at... There goes, there goes uh, Brandon Marshall with a, with a 15-yard reception. Wow, oh, Cutler actually threw the ball to a receiver. And, but he's still upset with his offensive line. <laughs> Sucks to be a Bears fan. That's all I'm saying. That's all. Oh, nice catch. He's he turned around and yelled at his offensive guard. <laughs> anyway, so we both have Arizona, and uh, we're going to take another short little break, and we're going to get yes. some of that bourbon barrel stout.